right guys, so this week's vlog is back in the West End. This is like my go-to place for vlogging lately, isn't it? But when I think of shopping, I always like to come to the West End because like Oxford Street, Regent Street, Carnaby Street, Soho, because everything is here. Like you're gonna find everything here. Um, and if you watched my video last weekend, which was actually yesterday for me, um, you'd have seen me pick up a gorgeous like houndstooth, um, but very small houndstooth, almost looking gingham coat from And Other Stories. I love that coat, but I have it with me now because me and Alan tried it on again, well not me and Alan, I tried it on again with Alan last night and we just weren't sure if it's too oversized. Like I love oversized clothes, but I want it to last me forever. So I don't know, I'm, I've got it with me now. It's a little bit cold and I'm in just a jumper. So the plan is I'm gonna go back to And Other Stories first today, try on the size down. If I do prefer the size down, cause I tried the size down on yesterday, but I decided that it was too fitted, but I'm gonna just try it on again see just to make sure i made the right decision with my size and then either i'll swap it and wear the coat today or i'll return um, or i'll keep this size um but i'm definitely keeping the coat i just need to see about the size let me go around the corner it's a bit loud here so the other thing is when i was doing my shopping yesterday for me or last week for you if you saw that vlog um i found a really great pair of boots and i found that houndstooth coat but I didn't find anything else and I'm really looking to build up staples in my wardrobe and also clothes just for winter like for layers and stuff um but one thing I'm really missing is trousers oh it's so loud hold on okay I'm gonna hide around here and hope that this gets quieter even though it probably won't um but I'm definitely missing trousers in my wardrobe I find shopping for trousers the hardest thing um for my body because my hips and my thighs are where I store my weight so I mean it's everywhere but that's the main place so my waist is smaller and then lower than my knees is smaller but in between that it's very hard to get a good fitting trouser especially for me like two things I'm looking for is like a wide leg trouser and then also a cigarette a cigarette pants style like very streamlined um you guys can probably see I recently cut my hair really short and it's just super sleek and that's definitely um, kind of like um, motivating me to get some more like sleek very chic outfits I feel like you know, I'm nearly 29 I'm in my late 20s now and I really want that chicness very sleek minimal kind of utilitarian like a uniform but a little bit interesting with my style so I want to get some straight leg trousers to wear with really big shirts and jumpers and then i also want to get some wide trousers so that i have that option as well and then i'm also looking for some dresses and skirts like i don't have much in my wardrobe so i'm taking you along shopping with me today um right behind me here you can see that blue building there that's kingley court's entrance really cool location around here i vlog here all the time like if you go through my london vlogs you'll see like a hundred um different videos all around here um, but I haven't done like a specific shopping vlog in ages so today we're going to be looking for staples in my wardrobe for you know to wear hopefully all year round but then also bits that are going to be really key in my winter wardrobe as well um, it's a Saturday it's 11 o'clock and it's already getting busy but we're gonna do this together so yeah come along with me I always mention this in vlogs but it's so important to look up when walking around otherwise you miss things like this this is a pub it's called the green king look at this creepy guy in a fake window honestly the amount of times i must have walked past this and never noticed for years but then once you notice it you can't unsee it so let me know if you notice this send me pictures when you pass it it's just off of Car like it's on carnaby street here's liberty my favorite department store so again if you're coming shopping around here you have to come here i mention this every time i'm in the area but um i actually always come at the back of carnaby street around liberty to get to and other stories i just find although it's busy it's less busy than regent street which is just straight down there so if you come this way and then go down argyle street they're doing some roadworks here at the moment but there's a back entrance to and other stories down here very close to oxford circus tube station exit so yeah another way in if you're like me and always trying to avoid the crowds okay let's head in Let's see what we find. So you can see here it says Argyle Street 8, but this is the same as the Regent Street store, it's just a different entrance. 
Right, so here is the coat. Just for some context, it's already oversized. So normally in another stories, I'm a 42 to 44, but I bought it in a 38. I'm gonna try a 36. I mean, yesterday I was thinking the 38 was better, but I just wanna be 100% because it's an expensive coat. So 34, let's see, 36, let's try this. Okay, so it still looks kind of big on the arms. I think either way, I'm gonna to have to tailor the length of the sleeve because I'm a shorty, I'm 5'3". Um, although apparently now I'm five two and a half, so maybe I've shrunk. Um, it just feels a bit tighter. I don't think I'd be able to wear layers under it. I don't know, guys. I think I'm gonna call Alan on FaceTime and see what he thinks. Okay, guys, I've just taken off my jumper. Without my jumper, the smaller one fits the same as the big one with the jumper. Um, I just think longer term, probably I'll get more use out of the smaller one. I've called Alan, he agrees. Um, and. I might still tell you the arms, but actually, I like how the arms ruffle when you put it in the pocket like that. So, okay, I'm gonna swap these and then keep this on, even though it's a little bit much with my polka dot trousers. These are from um, Monkey, and I think they're a size large, so they fit me. But obviously, the pattern trouser is not for all of the looks I'm looking for. I need some plain trousers too. And I also have on my Nevesta, in case you're wondering. Okay, potentially found a pair of trousers in Amber Stories, which are straight leg. I like this cottony, very soft material, very wide. Size 40, fits, it's a drawstring. So I think I'm gonna get these. I'm just figuring out what to wear them with. I think I'm gonna get the size down in this shirt to try. I like the oversized nice from the side. Um, I also brought with me my boots that I bought yesterday so that I can see how the trousers fit with them. And I really like that, how that looks. So now it's just about finding a top to go with it. Okay, I've tried this shirt on two sizes now, so this is 36. I prefer it, but I don't think it's right with these trousers. Like these are very soft material trousers, and this is like a harsh, feels harsh and too white against it. I tried on this cream number, which is kind of like a wraparound shirt. Um, I think that the fabric is softer and goes better with the trousers, but the 40 is too small. Um, and apparently they don't have any other sizes, and apparently this top is now on sale. Um, here are the details, in case you wanted to have a look for it yourself. Um, I love the collar, I love the top. Of the bottom, it's just too small. So maybe I'll have a look online and see if I can find it on sale. Um, but sometimes sizes, you just never know. Like obviously, this is made to be oversized. It's a size 36. Trousers are a 40. Fit perfectly, but they're very loose. It's like a loose cotton. Whereas this top has more structure, and that 40 is too small. So I always think when shopping in stores like this, if you're curvy like me, just try on a bunch of sizes. It's just about figuring out your size for the style of something. But these trousers I'm definitely getting what a success already look at the mess I've made okay time to tidy up and go pay for the trousers and swap the coat okay so I'm now in Arquette I don't want to show too many people but I noticed these kind of like throws we're looking for um, something for our sofa and I love these like the green would be gorgeous in our living room but they're really they don't feel itchy like they feel very warm and they're thick but they don't feel cozy and soft so that's a shame keep on looking um but i'm gonna check upstairs i mean the sizing in um so i'm gonna head upstairs to the women's but the sizing in arquette is really bad like i don't even know why i'm doing this to myself i know nothing in here will fit me but i just want to experiment again just in case um so i'm heading up to the women's floor and i have to say what was really good as well um in and other stories they now do it where if you bring back old clothes um, and so, so they can recycle the materials, you get 10% off your order or your purchase, which is so good. Anyway, let's look around here. It's good to see brands starting to try and recycle textiles more. Also, I'm so happy with those trousers that if I don't find another pair of trousers, I'll be happy. But um, these are nice. Um, I also need some dresses, so we'll see see what else we find. So I'm on a coat ban, so I can't get this myself, but look at this massive long line 
down jacket that looks so cozy and speaking of sustainability this says it's like 100% recycled material of the down it's eco-friendly there's been no harm to animals um, and it's sterilized hypoallergenic that's really good again just loving seeing brands do more like that hopefully it just continues and they do more and more and more to help the planet like we've only got one you know <laughs> we've got all of these dresses on sale which are so beautiful but the sizing just sucks like it supposedly goes up to a 44 or 46 but even that doesn't fit like it's done very small um hopefully they'll look into that because that's very frustrating what's this it's a plain black dress but again won't fit me anyway i'm now going to go to cos because i don't think i'm going to find anything in here just waiting to cross over to cos and I noticed that Liberty have a sign at their front door saying Christmas shopping on four, which is floor four. So I can't believe that's open already. I mean, it is October. It's just it's come around so quick. I can't quite believe it. Do you guys feel Christmassy yet? I definitely don't. Feeling excited for it to get a little colder though. Like, it's crisp. That coldness is definitely what makes you feel wintry. It's so pretty. Just to my right is Regal Street. It's so beautiful. Okay, I'm having so much fun because I've whipped out the trousers I just bought again and my boots, which I've literally just like um, put in this shoe bag, which is a common project shoe bag I have, and then whip them out when I need. Um, anyway, this is nice. So when I first tried it on, I wasn't sure because originally, I mean, the sleeves are quite long and very fitted, so I just kind of like rolled them up and then gathered them at the bottom. And then if it's out, um, I'll show you guys the details of this jumper on the tag in a minute. If it's out, obviously not very flattering. So all I did was tuck in that middle bit, fold it over. Oh, hold on a second. Let's stick you guys here. Can you see? Okay, so it was better when I did it earlier. I've just rushed it now. But I tucked the top in folded it over love the neck it's so soft i'm wondering if it's cashmere because it feels very very soft so this is a probably but we're going to check the price tag just so that i'm not going too crazy but i think this is really chic and perfect for work i can wear it in my day-to-day -day life like i would wear basically what i wear to work is what i wear anyway but i feel really good at this i feel like a chic a chic Eva, you know when you're just like I've arrived. I really hope I'm not gonna have copyright issues with this music but hey it's worth risking it. So here are the details in case you guys want to know. It's £135 ouch but I found out why it is 100% cashmere um, it's just really beautiful really really beautiful. This one actually has I've just noticed a little tag floor there so I'll probably change that um, or sometimes stores if they don't have another one they'll give you a little bit of a discount 10-15% off for a floor like that. So I'll see what there's available. Anyway, now I'm gonna try on this one, which these are the details here. And this one's 150 pounds. I think this probably is cashmere as well. It feels very soft. Yeah, this one's 100% cashmere as well. Okay, this one's a bit bigger, um, but I got it in a medium instead of a large. This one I got in a large. Let's try. Okay, so this one, I mean, maybe it's because it's a medium and I need a large, but I don't love it as much. The grey is nice, but I don't know, I think, I think I'm going to treat myself to this one. Show Alan when I get home, see what he thinks, but I really like it. So I picked up that kind of like creamy taupe coloured um, sweater, the turtleneck. Oh, it's so beautiful, what a treat. Um, so I'm feeling very happy at the moment with my purchases. I do try to think everything through with what I already own and wear and how long life the item can be and so I am trying to buy more higher quality. Sorry, loud van, it's very, very busy. Um, but it's definitely lunchtime now, so I think I'm just gonna grab something from Pret. It's the easiest thing. So I'm gonna head to Pret on Carnaby Street, have a little lunch break and then think about where else I might be able to go today. Um, I do feel like I need some kind of like a, another dress. Um, so we'll see. Okay, I'm all done now. So I had lunch, just grabbed something in Whole Foods. I also picked up this kombucha. Can you guys hear those 
um, you might not be able to hear it now, but loads of police cars just came by with like their um, sirens going. Anyway, I picked up this kombucha. I love kombucha. This isn't my favorite type, but they didn't have my favorite type, so I thought I'll get this, drink it on the tube on the way home. Um, I had a great day. Very happy. I got swapped my coat. Got a really beautiful jumper, I've got some nice trousers, so that's a success. If you guys have any dress ideas that you think I might like, please let me know. Send me a message on Instagram, leave it in the comments, because I'm really looking to add more dresses to my wardrobe. But it takes a long time to find like things which you really love and are going to get a lot of use out of. But send me ideas if you have them. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming shopping with me today. And I will see you next week. Let me know what you want to see next. Bye!